Star Alarm. Hey everybody, in this video we'll show you guys how to use the PTZ controls through the Hike Connect app for your PTZ cameras. Um, so just a couple things to note before this video. Um, so there's a couple of features that can come with the PTZ such as patrol and park. Park is after you zoom in on something for a while and you're done looking at it, the camera will automatically go back to a set position. Uh, so we just wanted to note that that's not something that can be set up in the app, that's something that should have been set up in installation. Um, and then as well, the patrol feature, that's when you can have your camera go automatically from preset one to preset two to preset three, and it just cycles through a bunch of presets so you can kind of see wherever you want to um, on your PTZ. Uh, we just wanted to note that with the patrol feature, if you set up presets on your phone, if that's already set up for you, that the presets on your phone will, con will conflict with the patrol feature and that it'll make it stop working so just if you have patrol set up already don't set up presets on your phone uh, but with that we can get into how to use the ptz uh, from your phone so you can, as you can see here on the right we have playback the camera record uh, the microphone and then there's these this little joystick icon so what we'll do is we'll click that and that'll bring up our ptz controls um so on the left here this is the easiest way to control the ptz you can just move up down, uh, left, right. Um, there's this auto scan feature on the bottom left that will do a little 360 for us. And we just click it again to make it stop. And then right here, there's a couple more features. You can see that there's zoom, so you can zoom out, zoom in. We can adjust the focus. So as you can see, that's not out of focus, but if we want to bring it back into focus, just hold the other button, and it's back in focus. And then there's the iris feature as well, which adjust the amount of light. Um, and then if your PTZ has a wiper, there's a wiper button down here. Um, as well, there's these presets. So um, once a preset is set, the simplest thing to do is just to click on it. And it'll automatically go to that preset. Um, so let's say we want to set up a new preset. So what I'll do is let's say I want to look at a tree over there. What I'll do is I'll set it up. I'll zoom in to the zoom I want it to have. I'll zoom all the way in. Let's say I want to go see that part of the tree. And then I'll scroll down here to... My preset, you have the option to save up to 299 presets. Um, we don't need to go that far, so we'll just use 20 for an example. I'll click on the three dots on the right, and I'll click set as preset. Say so set as preset, and I'll just click OK. So let's say, now I can go back to preset one, for example. Um, and now I want to go back to mine, so I'll just go and click on 20. Now you can see it went back to our preset. So that's how you use presets on the uh, Hike Connect app, as well as just more settings. It gives you the option to how, like your rotating speed. This is how fast the camera moves when you use that little joystick here on the left. Um, and then do whatever your park feature is set up as, if you just wait however long, we'll see that the camera will go back to its park position. Just like that. And that is how you use the PTZ features on the Hike Connect app.